this is the Make Code Arcade Advanced live stream with your host Vivian at Live Cheerful on the Make Code forums and Richard at Live Cheerful on the Make Code forum. That's not right. <laughs> At Richard on the main code forums. Uh, anyway. Well, okay. Today we have an idea. I have an idea. And my idea is animated arcade journal. And so you'll have like a little notebook. And then you can flip the pages. And every day you'll have a different like pixel art animation that you will have. And then you'll have like a title that's like this is the date. And you can write a little blurb about your day. And you can just add things to it. That's my whole idea. What do you think? Wait, so are we making another animation editor, Vivian? No, no, no. You're, you're just going to pass in your animations in an array. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sure. When did we ever make an animation editor? Um, well, there was the marching band. Um, I mean, I guess the rest, the, the rest were mostly just still images, but a still image is kind of an animation of one frame, you know? <laughs> that's, that's one way to think about it. <laughs> for sure well we're not doing that today that would be silly um let me just let me just like map out what i'm thinking so you guys can see okay so you're gonna have this right and then on the side wait let's make the paper first you have a piece of paper let me zoom out a little bit it's like it's like how some schools you have to do like summer homework and like write write a diary that's what the idea is you know but instead of homework it's just this and you yeah, and you leave it to the last day. And you leave it to the last day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here for perspective. Like me. Like that. And then let's do another one for more perspective, you know? Mm -hmm. And then let's fill this in. And fill this two pixel in. Sharp shooting. And let's do the spiral. Maybe I should just use a multi, yeah, like this. Yeah, that's cute. Oh no, I looked away. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see if chat was saying things. My mouse, my goodness. Richard, are you seeing this? What, the flicker? Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. It's, my mouse is super slow. My computer is working, but I don't... Is it because I haven't turned it off in multiple days? Okay, I've given up on that. And we'll Are you make... in... Um... Hmm? Hmm. I made some improvements recently to big images. Oh, you think it's because it's a big image? Yeah, like a few days ago, I, I made some stuff, so it would be in beta. Hmm, okay. Well, how should we format this? Be nice if it could just be like this. Maybe it'll just be like this. Yeah. Some landscape. And it'll be like an animation or maybe a mini game. Haven't decided yet. Um, so are you doing one bit one day per page? Yes. What? Okay. Why, why, why? I don't know. I'm okay. looking forward to seeing you animate the page turning. Oh. Maybe we'll hack that. Okay. <laughs> And then we had to, Richard help me do the math on how big this image is. It's 32, starts at the beginning, and goes until 151. Oh. You, you do that. Oh, math. that's a lot easy then. It's 120. Really? Wow. Okay, 120. And then when the height is 12, uh, yeah, to 62, which is 40. 120 by 40. Easy. So let's first make an image. That's 120 by 40. Forty. And then we'll we'll just we'll just draw something here for now. Maybe we'll put a tree here. Put a tree, that is notable. Yeah. You see it over there. You're like, whoa. And then maybe we'd be over here. Oh, my mouse. Okay. 
Wait, so what, what's happening with your mouse? I don't know if I can tell. It's like super laggy. It like jumps around. It's like the sensitivity of it is really bad. So then like you have to move it a lot before it, see, it moves at all. Like you have to move the physical mouse before it, the digital mouse moves. And then... Oh, have... so it doesn't sound like an arcade problem. Then. Oh, no, it's, it's definitely like... my computer. It's Yeah. It's sweating. Okay, so this is our image. If I leave arcade open for a long time, the browser breaks it. So reloading fixes it. I just opened this arcade page though. Okay, so then let's do an array. Let's do a new variable and it's gonna be journal images. Wireless in the dongle's too far away? My desk setup hasn't changed, but I did like the desk itself is the same, but I did move where my desk physically is. I don't know. Okay, so journal image. Did your air, did your air change? My what? Did your air change? Mm, it is bit a bit more echoey. Okay, so are you sure that the air you have in the room is the air you had in the room yesterday? It's It was like this two days ago, but then the last time I streamed, or two streams ago, but the last time I streamed, it was fine so okay all right well let's put it on the board okay we'll connect some red yarn between air and wireless mouse and i think we'll be getting somewhere yeah probably all right guys it's story time one time i went into the make code team if this was before vivian was on the team um uh, it was right before christmas pretty much everybody was out of the office but joey was there um and uh, so was our, our manager, Abhijit. And we came in, and someone had put Star Wars figurines on each of our desks. What? Yeah. It was a mystery. And I was like, who who did this? Um, and, but don't worry, folks. I would not rest until I figured it out. So for the next three days, I created a timeline on the big whiteboard. I tracked everybody's movements throughout the building. I figured out motives, means, opportunity, detective stuff. Joey helped me because uh, we were going to get to the bottom of this case. Yeah. There were a series of unusual events that had happened that helped me narrow down the timeline. For example, that day when I was going into the office, I had run into Abhijit in the elevator, so I knew what time he entered the premises. What time was and, that? Um, um, I believe it was um, like 9.30 a.m. Uh huh. Eventually, what I came down to was it was um, Chase, who I guess isn't on the team anymore, so the story doesn't have a have a fun ending. Mm. But yeah, it was fun though. I had a lot of fun doing it. I didn't get a lot of work done those days. <laughs> I mean, it's like the holiday time, right? It's that's the time for yeah. goofing off and having shenanigans. So. Mm -hmm. And I got to make one of those big, you know, detective boards with, like, lines going between them. Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. How did you figure it out? Um, by eliminating the other possibilities, Watson. Oh, okay. You don't think it was some rando coming in? It absolutely could have been some rando. Mm -hmm. Right? My evidence was not conclusive, and Chase vehemently denied it. So, mm. well, that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know who did it, but I was offended because I. Wait, I want to make a picture for that story, Richard. This doesn't have to just be a journal; it could be any kind of storybook or anything. I want to make it. Wait, Richard, do you want to make an image for your story? Not particularly. Okay, I'll make it for you then. I wasn't there, so it'll be super accurate. Are you ready for this? Mm hmm Okay, we've got the team room, which has an orange background, maybe. I've only been there once, twice. I've been there twice. And then you've got Richard. Oh, no, you've got the whiteboard, of course, you know, where he's solving the mystery at. And then you've got Richard with his green, blue hat. Yeah, but it was one of those deer stalker hats that Sherlock Holmes wears. Oh, okay. So let me 
Wait, my shortcuts are broken now. Um, okay, so it's like this kind. And then yeah. Richard's face. And then obviously you've got Richard's beard. Vivian knows to put in a beard now because I've called her on it so many times. I literally don't picture Richard with a beard. <laughs> the only reason I know he has a beard is because he's like, where's my beard? I'm like, oh, I suppose. And then, okay, Richard is like quizzically looking at this board, right? And then Richard's wearing his classic Halloween shirt, so let's just make an outline for it. Okay, and then on the board, we've got a picture of Avijith. That's Avijith. We'll put A, B so we know. Looks exactly like him. Thank I don't you. think you need to label that. And then we've got, okay, we got to have um, a picture of the parking garage at night with cars inside it. <laughs> These are cars. We need a red car. And then maybe, like people have gray cars a lot, so this is gray. And then we'll put in like a red line between this. And then we'll have a picture of a pizza, which represents Chase. That's all I know about Chase. Yep. And then the pizza obviously has a crust. Let's give it some crust. And then some Fun yellow. Fact. Chase, Chase the Pizza, the game on our home screen. It's named after Chase. Amazing. <laughs> okay, and then... Um, That's actually true. It used to be Chase... It used to be, like, Get the Donut or something. Uh-huh. Get the Donut. Chase the Pizza seems much... Much more of a classic, you know? Okay, this is the Star Wars figurine. Let's do some red line, red string between these two. Okay. And then what are we going to do? We're going to add another array. <laughs> are you sure you weren't there for this? Oh, I, I know, Richard. It's like I can read your mind. Are you sure that I can't? You can read, <laughs> read my mind. mind. Journal, text. I was going to do a date too, but... um. I think it'd be cooler if we just had the text. Okay, so wait, do we do new lines in our text yet? Um, no. Is there a good way to print a bunch of text here in a shape? Um, you can put you can put in new lines, and then you can do a split. Uh, we do this all the time. Okay, Richard solves a miss. Mystery, mystery. This is coming, by the way. Is it this direction? What? I just have been busy uh, doing word wraps and oh, stuff. Nice. Richard solves the mystery. Some. Hmm. What do I do? Somebody left everybody presents. Who was it? It was Chase. Don't don't put that in there. We didn't confirm. It was allegedly Chase. I don't want to do word wrapping. My goodness. <sighs> okay. So display page. We lit. We did this recently with the newspaper game too, didn't we? You're the one who wanted to do a journal. I forgot we didn't have word wrapping. <laughs> okay. Bring in arcade. Text, I guess. Can we calculate based on the word length where we split it? Or do we make a text for every word? <laughs> so the easiest way to do it is just make a text sprite for every word. Do a, do a split on space, and yeah. then um, use the width to. Yeah, let's do that. I'm I'm not too upset about doing that. I I like doing that. Okay, 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 okay. Let's make uh, let's get text, 
and it's going to be split. And then we're going to set a variable. These are, no, word array. The unseen Arduino says, I see a snake. Plant. Snake plant? Yeah, it's behind you. Not a snake though, right? No, snake plant. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, mm -mm. tell me earlier if you see a snake, right? There's no snakes in Washington except for the snakes we do have. Mm-hmm. I love that for us. <laughs> um, and let's see. For index, There's no poisonous snakes here, right? I don't know. I didn't really look into it when I moved here. Mm. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, For element of word array, then we are going to make a new text sprite. Text sprite to value. Let's make them oh, small. Oh, we have two venomous snakes. What? Yep. What? What? We have um, two venomous snake species. They are the uh, northern copperhead and the timber rattlesnake. What do they look like? Well, disclaimer, I'm not going to give you a description. What? The northern copperhead is kind of stripy. It kind of goes between dark brown and like light brown, or dark orange and like light orange. That doesn't sound like it looks that scary. How big is it? Uh, I would say medium. Medium. Mm, okay, I would be scared of a medium-sized snake. I guess that's that's yep. good. Disclaimer, disclaimer. That was a bad description. Look it up yourself. <laughs> um, thirty-three, oh, thirty-two, seventy. Okay. And next we got the timber rattlesnake, which hey. looks like also stripy. Uh-huh. So I'm scared of stripes is what you're saying. Yeah, except the, the rattlesnake has a rattle. So that's easy. That one's easy. Uh-huh. Um, a rattle looks like a beehive? Yes. Okay. And it makes a rattle sound. Makes a rattle sound. Okay, sure, sure, sure. But I don't, I don't want to get close enough to it to to hear it, if we're being honest. That's true. But also, these things are not around Seattle. They are like in the western part of Washington. Eastern. West. We're in the Eastern. western. Okay. <laughs> I'm like <Yes>. richer. <laughs> mm. Okay. So then let's set the new X. Oh, let's change current X by the width of the word. Do we also have to change it with like a space for the word? Yeah, so just add a few pixels. Okay, we'll add like three for now. We can, mm, let's add two for now. And then um. three. Sure, two's probably fine. This is a plus, right? Yeah. Okay. If if it's bad, we can change it. So then we can be like, if the current X, oh yeah, I don't want help. I don't need help. Let's get current X, please. Current X is greater than one hundred and sixty. Then we change current Y by the height of the word. I'm not going to give it space. Oh, fine, I'll give it spacing. You've convinced me. Okay, and then we set the current X to be 32 again. Is that everything we need to do? Oh, the text is white. <laughs> no wonder we can't see it. Okay, as... Let's do black for now. That'd be nice. Some nice ink. Richard solves very, the mystery. Very, very safe choice. Oh, and hold on. 
So if it's greater than, that means it's going to wrap over, right? So then we better also reposition this. <laughs> and then if it wraps twice, then we're just in trouble. This fixes it. Richard solves a mystery. Somebody left everyone presents. Who was it? It was allegedly Chase. <laughs> okay, that's that. And then let's. Do... I think you need more spaces. I think maybe add three instead of two. Okay. It's maybe a, a little hard to see right now. Variable for this space size. Also, I don't. Can we do something smaller than eight? Ba -ba 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 -ba. As... Yeah, you can set it to five. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's do six for now. And then, oh, that looks great. And then space size. Let's paste it in. And then the two is just the line spacing. I'm fine with that. Richard's all, wait, this is so cute. It's like, wait, let's change it to five and see what it looks like. Five. It's the same. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's the five by five one. I see. Um, the 5x5 five by five font, by the way, is the same one you see on the Microbit website. It's just on their website? No, when you show when you show text on the Microbit. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so the, the micro screen is only 5x5, five five, so it has to fit on there. Okay, that looks familiar then. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's make another... Hmm, well, let's just make two sprites for now. Um, we're going to have one variable be like left arrow and then we're going to make it a shiny a shiny a bright shiny arrow um orange richard do you ever watch any of the american girl movies nope what am i missing oh well one of them is about somebody who a girl who grew up during the revolution american revolution I think she tried to tame a horse, and also she wasn't drinking tea. These are two separate plot points. And then the and then she named her horse Penny because it was like a bright copper penny. That's what you're missing. They're, they're not missing much is what I'm hearing. What? No, it was awesome. And then she was like, I will not have tea at her manners classes. Hmm. To Vivian, were you, were you into horses as a kid? No, <laughs> didn't care about horses that much. Did, were you into horses? Nah, I had some neighbors who were. That's cool. I don't think I've ever ridden a horse, even at like the fair. You oh, know? me neither. Seems scary. They're so big. True. How do you get on them? Okay, it's like it's like um. Like a safety thing. Like if you can't get on it by yourself, you know, are you really responsible enough to ride it? Does this look like an arrow? Maybe I should make it like this. But you know, it was really cool. They were like, you know, no taxation without representation. And then they were going to. Oh, so she was the one who did that whole thing? Well, she didn't say that. But, you know, that was the kind of the vibe, you know, one, two, three, four. And then so like her family. We're like, yeah, no taxation without representation. So then she didn't drink tea. Oh, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's see how this left arrow looks. It needs to be a bit pointier, perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And she had the manners classes, you know, and they're teaching how these people to be ladies, and you gotta drink your tea. But then if you don't want any more tea, you can be like, I shall have no tea, and then turn your teacup upside down to be like, you, even if you wanted to pour me some tea, you couldn't put some in this cup. It's upside down. Wait, was there, was there any, you know, repercussions? Um, I feel like there were, but, you know, they don't convey. I don't remember. I don't remember. I'll have to rewatch it. Chad, have you watched this American Girl movie? If so, let us know. Yeah, I think... This this American girl, her name was Kit. Okay. Wait, that... was this Kit Kitteridge, comma American girl? Probably Kit Kitteridge. Imagine that's a that's an alliterative name. How did you find it? 
Um, I just knew that there was an American girl named Kit Kitteridge. Why? I, well, it's a, it's, you know, it's a name that catches your eye. <laughs> Wait, did, did you have an American girl doll? I never No. Did. But, you know, I was a child once. I watched the TV. Oh, so you have seen the movie. I haven't seen it. No, I just know that it existed. There were commercials and stuff. Oh, commercials. I forgot about commercials. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's, <laughs> that's, that's understandable. Okay. So. I wish I had, Vivian, so I could share in this experience with you. Richard, you know, this teaches you the revolutionary spirit, huh? Hmm, true. Oh, it looks like Kit Kitteridge was actually um, in the Great Depression. So this was probably a different one. Oh, Are there two it... American girls named Kit? Surely not. Am I thinking of the wrong... That would be so embarrassing. The wrong American girl. Anyway, <laughs> I'm making arrows. Can you figure out which one it is? Are you thinking of Felicity Merriman? Oh, it could be Felicity. Yeah. Felicity. They. Oh, yeah. They had a super cut, maybe one of the commercials, and everybody's just going, Felicity, Felicity. <laughs> maybe. Might ring a bell. <laughs> um, left arrow. I want to make the arrows go like, doo, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it looks like it is an American girl adventurer. Felicity. <laughs> mm -hmm. The T situation. Are you reading the Wikipedia page or something? Oh, that's not what I want. I'm on the IMDb page. Okay. Wait, Richard, is there like a... Like a do 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 do? Is it shake? <laughs> Animation? Oh. oh what do you no. want to do? I wanted to go like... If it's an arrow, you know, it'd be like do do. Do, do. Oh, left, right, left, right. Oh, yeah. just break your own with H. Fine. H four, H negative four. Okay, let's do it. We are professionals. All right. I know you want all your animations on a silver platter. Yeah. Don't want to. Don't want to. You know, just want them handed to you. But you yep. gotta work for those animations. You know me. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We definitely wanted it faster. We don't want it like moving one pixel per second. That just looks silly. Mm, faster? 500. Did all of the American girls have horses? Or is that just Felicity's thing? Maybe just Felicity? I was never super into American doll girl dolls. Didn't oh, okay. One. I just caught, caught the movie on the tel telly sometimes, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the right arrow goes in the opposite direction because... It is opposite. Oh, cute. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, okay. Now, after you display a page, you'll decide which arrows to show versus hide. So let's go, let's iterate over all sprites of kind arrow. We're, we're gonna show all of them by default. And then we'll special case um, the first and last pages so that we can hide the arrows. So set this arrow invisible false. Hi Gideon, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, we are making like a book engine, could we call? So first my idea was like, okay, it could potentially be like a journal situation where you draw like a image every day and then you like write a little blurb about what happened that day. And then, I, okay, the original idea was I wanted to make a bird book so you could have different images of birds and the names of the bird, like a description of what... Oh, uh, we should have done that. Well, we can do that still. We can put in whatever images we want here. Um, and then we could also do... We could do all, all sorts of things with this book engine. So that's the plan. So finally... I'm going to start drawing birds. What, what size should I be drawing these birds? These are 120 by 40. All right. And so, you know, feel free to make your publish your own books with this engine in the future once we get it good going. So right now I'm special casing showing the arrows. And also we need to code in the page turning mechanism. So if 
the current page index, which we passed in here, page number, the, here it is. If it's equal to zero, that means we're at the first page, so we should hide the left arrow. So we're gonna do set invisible true on, and then which one? It's gonna be left arrow. And then we're not gonna do an else if because sometimes we only have one page, you know? So if the page number equals the length of the array, which array, journal, images, you have to have an image for everything, I've decided. Um, now let's do with journal text. Well, maybe you don't wanna have, okay. So if, wait, why are, is it angry? Don't, mm. we're gonna ignore that for a second cause I don't know why it's happening. That's a great way to deal with it. Okay, so it's minus one. If this is equal to the page number, then right arrow invisible is true. Let's see how this looks. Huh. Hey, chat. Tell us, tell us what your favorite birds are. Yeah. Why? Play. Left arrow. Why, though? Left arrow is a sprite. Why is it angry? Fails. Where are you making oh. left arrow? What? Where are you making the left arrow? Here. But, okay, what if I do this? What if I take rid of this and then You're I just... calling your function before you make the left arrow. Oh, uh, thank you. Let's do this too. Okay, so instead of doing this, we'll set invisible to be if this is not equal to zero. Maybe. Yeah. And then this one is going to be equal to this is not equal to this. So let's see. We should see no arrows right now. Uh, in fact, we see both arrows. <sighs> Invisible. Should this be noted? Guys, logic is hard. What are you doing? Northern Cart. Oh, we have Northern Cardinal as a suggestion in chat. Oh, that's a good one. Which is the state bird of Illinois. A, a ton of states. That's true. Also Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, really? That's cool. Richard, that must be why we get along so well. Yep. Everyone... Horoscopes are so like last year, you know, it's all about your state bird and determining compatibility. True. True. Oh my goodness, it works. Okay, so wait, let's put the arrows at the bottom of the page. How about because you want the person to read till the end. So let's do it at like 100, 110. That'd be cool. Let's see it. Ah, very cool. Okay, and then finally we have to add the page turning button stuff. So on left button pressed, well, let's do right button first. And then let's see if, well, let's do is a comparison. So let's do the current page number, which I named as journal page. Colonels are the most common bird at your bird feeder. <gasps> That's so nice. What mm, what do you feed them? Like seeds? Okay, so if journal page plus one is less than the length of the array of the number of journal texts, and we have to think, do we need... plus one or a minus one. So if the journal text has two in it, then journal page plus one at zero is equal to one. So this is okay, this is okay. Then we're going to change right arrow by one. And then, no, not right, right arrow, psh, journal page by one. And then we're gonna call our function display page with journal page. 
We feed them safflowers. That's cool. Oh my gosh. I'll make, wait, Richard, do you want to draw a black cap chickadee? If you don't, I'll make one. Yeah, go ahead. I'm drawing a Stellar's J. Ooh, a still iconic. I saw one over the weekend. Nice. Okay, so if journal page minus one is greater than or equal to zero, change it by minus one and then call the journal page. Now let's see. Okay. Almost good, but now that we have multiple pages, we have to clean up our old pages. So for everything of kind text sprite, we're going to destroy it. Maybe we make a new function. Let's make a new function. Otherwise, it's getting kind of big. Clean up page done. And so everything of here, we're going to destroy it. Destroy it in a nice way. I wish it was recycle it. Destroy it. And then everything of kind. What do we call this kind? Just don't call it late to dinner. Oh, wait, wait this other one's just drawn. New journal page. Vivian just breezes right past my terrible Sorry, tip. Richard, I'm trying to... Oh, journal background. Okay, no, it's fine. This is fine. What? Don't call it late to dinner? I don't get it. You know, because, like, that would be rude. Don't call it's like a thing people say. I owe a quarter. I don't like this. You distracted me, and now I work a quarter. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, it was, all worth, it was all worth it for that. Was was it intentional? No. Oh. I was just making a really bad joke. This is so upsetting. Well, is Joey in the chat? I'm not adding a quarter for myself. I'm going to draw a black cap chickadee and then a tufted titmouse. Let's do this. So black cap chickadee is in the forest and it has its signature black cap I think it's because now what makes a chickadee a chickadee what's the defining characteristic of a chickadee maybe the shape of their body it's kind of round mm. believe that oh but not like that that's, that's a chicken like this I think they have like black somewhere else maybe their wings this is not going to be a super realistic bird book. Oh, yeah, no, not, no, for sure not. <laughs> and then let's give it some feet for it to grab on to branch. Right, here's my Stellar's J. I'm going to start working on a cardinal now. Okay, also come up with some text for me, please. Um, let's do this. And then a this, and then a this, and this. So fill, and then I want to give it some like berries on the side just for like spiciness, but not spicy berries, just, you know, a spicy image. Our bird book's going to be amazing. Wait, can we give it a title page too? It'll be like Richard and Vivian's. Totally true bird book. Oh, I'm putting in true facts. Should I be putting in fake facts? Oh, no, no, no. Put in true facts. Um, I just don't have any true facts about this chickadee. Chad, if you have facts about birds, you love it. Yay. I'm so glad. This is our tufted titmouse. Let's put it in here. Let's put in Richard's bird too. Grab it from chat. Remember when we didn't used to draw art together? That was a long, sad time. Yeah, so much better when we draw art. True. Okay, get rid of Richard. <laughs> wow, a Stellar's J. <laughs> I'm so happy. 
let's put this here let's put this here and let's make us a title page too and then i will make wait i made a black cap chicken then i do a cup of title if i'm talking without thinking um please understand <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much single threaded in my mind Bird. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> Bird. I know. Always amazed that you draw in one take. Aw, thanks. Dude, Vivian's the best, best of us mm. at drawing spur of the moment. That's true. Standards are law on the side, so everything, you know, looks good. Not not that you viewer standards, although I'm just like, you know. Let's go for it. Maybe this is a better color. Ooh, let's do bird silhouettes here. <laughs> that doesn't look like a bird silhouette. Okay, this is Richard Stellar, Jay. And let's do like a flying bird here with a wingspan. Um, People are gonna flip right through this, right? So then it's okay. A woodpecker. We should have a woodpecker. And a flamingo. Should it be a backyard bird book? I like a backyard bird book more. Okay. But we could also do a flamingo. I'm not opposed to flamingos. I feel like some people don't know what birds... Okay, some people... By some people, I mean my dad. He was like, a duck's not a bird. And I'm like, what do you mean a duck is not a bird? He's like, a duck's a duck. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. R and V and guess who this last person is? Chat! <laughs> Which does not mean cat. It does mean cat in French. But for us, it means you. So We're is, not French. A duck is a bird. <laughs> yeah. I think it's also because maybe, maybe it's because my dad's first language isn't English. So like he doesn't really get the meaning of the word bird. Oh, maybe I should have put, maybe I'll put by Richard, Vivian, and chat. The tough tid, tid, no, this is, I'm so confused. The black, no, I'll just say black cap chick a D. Don't tell him I told you guys this. <laughs> um, oh, we would never, right? We're cool, right, chat? <laughs> Yeah, I think he'd be proud of it. He's like, yeah, a duck's a duck. But I'm just like, okay, what do you think a penguin is? <laughs> um, Stellar is J. And then um, let's add, wait, Richard, do you have another bird for me or should I draw one? Oh, we have facts. Uh, I'm, do I'm, doing a, I'm doing a cardinal right now, okay, but it cool. is uh, still a work in progress. The Stellar is J, a native of coniferous forests. Forests? The Stellar's Jay can be found along the western coast of North America. That's true. The first time I saw a Stellar's Jay was when I came to the west coast. Let's put this in here. Let's delete it. And I will make a tufted titmouse, which is really cute and gray. And maybe it should be against a beautiful red background. So it stands out. Oh, that's so red. Okay. And then let's do this. And then the tufted titmouse has the, the tufts. And, oh, also, a uh, uh, yeah, um, iconic look for the for it is it has eyes that look at you. It's very cute. This kind of okay. Um, 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 uh, 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 why is my uh, tufted tip? I was looking so like frumpy. Okay. Um, hey. Has feelings too. Um, maybe, maybe they're really cute. Why does okay? Maybe I'll just make it shorter and stubby to make it cuter. Yeah. Okay. And then, did I make its neck too long? I wish I had a picture as a reference. All I know, okay, close, close. Yes, chats is there. Cool. Thank you for keeping our secrets. <laughs> Does it have a tail? This one I'm not as familiar with. 
Does it look cute though? Guys, when you look at this bird, are you like, aww, I love it. Or are you just like, um, I guess it's a bird. When I was in marching band, it was like the normal thing to have binders for all your music um, so that you could like practice outside and not have your pages blow away. You'd have binders and you'd have like page protectors that are like you would put in. And so I made everybody like different birds for their binder covers. And somebody, their favorite bird was this. So I made them this one. So, um, and then let's, oh my gosh. Okay. As spice, let's put in a mouse drawing over here. So you know that it's not a mouse. And this mouse better not be cuter than the bird. Impossible. Let's give it some pink ears. Okay, that's a mouse. And then let's give it some green greenery for it to hide within. Northern Cardinal facts. Oh man, links don't work in our chat. Can you give me your like your favorite fact, and then I'll just type it in. Ah yeah. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. And let's give it the leaves some shading too. Does it sound like my room's echoier to you guys? Because I moved a chair out of this room and I feel... Not to me. Okay, cool. It, to me, it sounds like my my voice is like ringing around. Reverb. Reverb, reverb, reverb. Some people, some people pay good money for those facts. Okay. Back yeah. in... Um... Back in the day, before we had like digital reverbs or even just like physical reverbs that simulated reverb, what they would do below music studios is they would make rooms that were just filled with tile. Oh. And then they would put speakers in those rooms and then they would play the music and just record it bouncing around in the room in order to give it a reverb echo effect. That's cool. Yeah. I'd like to see a room that's just tile. Like pink tile, pink and white, that'd be sweet. If you go to if you go to old um, music studios, you can see them. I don't even know where I would go to begin to find one of those. Oh go my gosh, look at our book. <laughs> oh wait, are, Richard, I might have told you the wrong size for the images. You told me one twenty by forty. Yeah, but I, I did the wrong math. Oh, it's okay, I'll fix it. Don't worry. So this is 12, so 52. I'll just cut off here. Okay. We're going to fix Vivian doesn't remember that I'm the one who did the math, so no one tell her. <laughs> I think I did the Y math. Yeah. Okay. Be cool if we could handle different image sizes too. Oh, well. Um, and then here, current Y, we'll set this to be 60 then. Oh, and then we also have to change this image here. Oh, oh, <laughs> guys, it's so cute. Okay, let me finish drawing the image of the journal. My mouse is behaving a little bit better now. Chat, please request hey. more birds. We have it's time. my cardinal. <gasps> For me, I always think of cardinals standing on fence posts because they would always stand on fence posts outside my backyard. Oh, okay. How big? 120 by 40. Blue mm -hmm. jay. We'll do a blue jay. Blue jays are scary. They're like... Yeah. My golden retriever growing up had an intense rivalry with a blue jay. What? That's awesome. Who? <laughs> wow, snowy too. I like its beak. Perfect for cracking things. Its eye is a little bit scary, but I, I understand why you made the choices you did. They have black eyes and, and they have black around their eyes. So it's hard to convey that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, do you have facts for me or? Oh, I thought Chad was doing facts. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, right, right. Chad had a fact. Um, Northern Cardinal. They eat mainly seeds and fruit. Northern Cardinals 
eat mainly seeds and fruit. All right, I'm gonna do an owl so you don't have to. Thank Vivian. you, Richard. <laughs> Where are you doing the top to ten mouse? Here, okay, one, two, three, four, five. So what's next for me? Let's see. Oh, maybe I should do a duck too. I'll do the chat request oh, first. We do like ducks. <laughs> Love ducks. Okay. All right, I gotta choose a kind of owl to do. <sighs> I gotta do a blue jay. I'm okay with blue. Okay, blue jay is like this. Well, I'll make a happy blue jay. It'll be like, I don't know what, okay, I was gonna make a blue jay news, but I don't know what blue jays sound like. Fun fact, in the Pacific Northwest, where we currently are, though neither of us is from the Pacific Northwest, cool. Stellar's J are often referred to as Blue Jays. Oh. But they're different. They are different. I'm making a true Blue Jay? There's some yeah. black somewhere along here. Where is the black? Is the beak black? All right, I'm doing a barn owl. Classic. Nice. Are underneath the wings white? I feel like they're, okay, I know it's called a blue jay, but I feel like this blue jay is too blue. So cute. Yeah, the, the wing, underneath the wings are white, and then aren't the wings like tipped black? Oh, are you looking at a picture? You just know this, Richard. Just off the top of my head. That's that's impressive. If I could give you. I'll, I'll look up a picture. No, 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 no. Well, actually, that's probably good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they have white bellies. Um, they have blue wings. They have like a black collar going around their neck and then up. And they have like striped black and white tips of their wings. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe it's like <laughs> black and white tips of the wings. This is kind of like telephone picture. <laughs> no, you're doing a good job. Oh, excellent. Okay. You said blue wings. So are the under the wings blue or... Um, I, all of the pictures I've been looking at, they are not flying. Okay, I'll just leave it like this. Maybe blue jays never fly. Maybe they're the flightless bird that we never talk about. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure they fly. Okay, what color of background would the blue jay have? I knew they fly because they used to attack my dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, Richard, what color is your dog? I'll draw your dog fighting this blue jay. <laughs> There's a golden retriever. Oh, okay. So it's orange and happy but mm -hmm. angry to see the blue jay happy. his name was fred oh um should i draw it angry or happy hmm. let's go with happy he was normally happy okay happy dog <laughs> okay wonder retrievers are great because they're dumb and just super nice and great. We love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have our blue jay. Blue jay, any blue jay facts in chat? Blue jay fact to do. <laughs> Got more art requests. Let's let's knock these out of the park, huh? 120 by 40. What's next? An owl. Okay, thanks. Richard Goldfinch. Goldfinches are yellow and black, I think, right? I don't know. I don't know if I can picture a goldfinch. Like this. Chat, please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm starting down this path. All, all I, I can't picture this bird in my mind. All, all I think of is yellow and black and maybe similar to a cardinal. It's like a shiny cardinal, you know? I don't know if that's right. I'll put a B next to it so that you know it's not a B because this is how I would draw a B. <laughs> oh, facts! Yay! Chat, if we sell our bird book and get money for it, I'll make sure you get, you get the profits too. Be Chat, if I have anything to say about it, you'll never see a dime. <laughs> Um... <laughs> Vivian and I made this bird, bird book. Richard, they're literally providing facts for us. 
gold finch. Okay, let's see these blue jay facts. Blue jays prefer tray feeders or hopper feeders on a post rather than hanging feeders. And they prefer peanuts, sunflower seeds, and suet. The goldfinch is spot on! Heck yes! Okay, blue jays like tray feeders or hopper feeders more than hanging ones. So what is it that you don't like about owls again? That they stare at you? They stare at you so intensely. And you're like, because usually when you look at birds, they're just doing it on their own thing, right? They fly away. Maybe they sit and they sing a bit. But owls are just like. And they like look at you. They see you, you know, they recognize you. And I'm just like, I don't want to be for your consideration, you know, because I feel like if an owl attacked me, it would do damage. <laughs> <laughs> you know they do have sharp claws the first time I saw an owl in real life I was at a zoo and it kept on staring at me and usually the animals at zoos ignore you so I was like mm -mm, not not good and then I saw an owl in real life like in the wild over the summer and I also didn't like that because I wasn't expecting to see it okay wood duck I can do that wood duck is oh, Wait, wood duck is different than a mallard. Which one's a wood duck? Richard, tell me quickly, what does a wood duck look like? Um, 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 um. <laughs> um. Let's see. Yellow beak? Oh, boy. This is a hard one to explain. What? What do you mean? It's a duck, isn't it? This is the most complicated of the ducks. I think if you just give me an idea, I, I know what the ducks look like. I just can't remember, so just... Go for it. Okay. All right. It's got, all right. The top of its head is green and it's swooping backwards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like this, like, like this. Going down farther. Let me see. I can't see what you're doing. One sec. Oh. Okay. But like going back to a point. Uh huh. Give me all more. Right. And then it's got a red eye and <laughs> um, underneath the red eye is like dark green. Huh. And then it's got like the 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 thing that's swooping back, and um, underneath it is like black, but lined with white. Okay, so is wood wood duck the really smooth looking duck? It does look pretty smooth, yeah. Okay, wait. And then white. it just gets more complicated from here. Underneath that, it has a white collar around its neck, and then it's brown for its chest. Then it has like a white diagonal cutting off where the wing starts. The bottom part of the wing is like tan and the upper part is dark green and there's a white line kind of like dissecting it. Wait, wait, bottom part is tan and upper part is light green? Yeah. Okay, and there's a white line dissecting it. I think I know what a wood duck looks like and this is not what I would have drawn. <laughs> If I had gone off my mental image, but this is what I drew based on your description. Um, it's is this a, like um, a duck elf? Yeah, it's like a demonic duck elf. Sorry, it should be dark green for the wing. Dark green for the wing. Okay, well, <laughs> sorry guys. Let's they, make... they definitely have red eyes, so that's accurate. Oh, it looks, looks like the dwarf duck. Okay, we're we're just going with this, and we'll give it some like a wreath to sit next to because you know, you know. Oh man, we got it. We got to get going. So let me go ahead and send you this owl real quick. <laughs> I feel like the quality of the pictures have has gone down. Okay. Oh, for sure, my owl is not not close to being finished. <laughs> Duck help demonic duck elf i feel like you guys are all being really nice not calling it demonic but um i'm a little bit scared of this duck richard where is my picture sorry one second i'm drawing trees trees we do we have time for trees my goodness this is gonna be the text for barn owl and then right, here it comes okay here we go chat i'm gonna share the link to this in in the chat right before we sign off 
because we well, I don't know if I can say we have been lazy about posting um, to the forums, but I have been. I think we're probably going to be figuring out a new way to do this posting, guys. <laughs> yeah, because this is um, it's not sustainable. So that's our. Yeah, so I, made, I made I made an owl that stares right at you. <laughs> Richard, that's what I hate about owls. <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> Uh, make a turtle in the wood duck picture oh my gosh okay i'm going to post this link right now please feel free to like edit it and do whatever you, you want make other books with it and then you know you know have at it because this was really truly a group project for all of us so thanks mm -hmm. for joining us thanks for providing all the bird facts bird suggestions bird support um i had a great time during stream today so we'll see you guys tomorrow. My name is Vivian, and I am at LibTrip on the MakeCode forums. My name is Richard, and Vivian and I always have the most fun on streams. It's true. Well, I don't know. But and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.